Morning, Diesel. Morning, Chevy. And good morning to you. Today, we gotta get ready to go and head off to Virginia. We don't have to leave too early. I have to get about six hours behind me today. It's gonna take me about 50 hours to get down to Virginia where I need to be near Roanoke. So I'll do about six today, 10 tomorrow, 10 the next day, that's 36. And plus I'm gonna to have to stop for two 10 hour nights in between there. 36, 46, why would that be 56? No, 26. I'm still waking up here. Good morning, everybody. 26 hours of driving, plus, you know, stops and traffic. 26 hours of driving, plus two 10 hour nights. That's 46 hours. So I'm going to add an extra four hours on there for delays. That's 50 hours. Two hours more than 48. Exactly. So if I leave today at 6 p.m. Central Time, that means I should get there 6. 8 p.m. Central Time, the day after tomorrow. We'll be in Eastern Time then, so that'll be 9 p.m. That should give me plenty enough time to get a, a good sleep, and my delivery appointment is at 8 a.m. the following morning. Let me wake myself up and have my coffee, and I'll start making more sense. One second here. You be a good boy while I'm gone, Chef? Chevy? Can you sit? Can you sit? You're going to be a good boy while I'm gone at work. Yeah? You can take care of the family? Yeah? Oh, I know you will be. I know you will. So our fancy baby dishwasher has turned into a fancy baby bullet. And a pumpkin and massive zucchini. My sister grew this in her garden. Anyway, that's besides the point. So we have to return our baby dishwasher. It's right over here. It came damaged. This has been happening a lot to us lately. We've just been having a, a little bit of a streak of bad luck. With Amazon. <laughs> with Amazon. So I uh, had to send back that GoPro. That was over three weeks ago already. I still haven't gotten my refund for that. I had to call in for them to confirm that they had gotten it. But now, oh no, now it's 30 days. It's not seven days for you to return your refund. Or for you to get your refund. So anyways, we're, we're working with that. And now we've got to send this big thing all the way back to Amazon because the entire front panel of it was all scratched up on the inside of the glass, like between the glass panels, at a point where no one else could get to. I think I might have shown you those in yesterday's video when I was setting it up. There's a little scratch on there. It turns out there was the whole thing it was just messed up. Obviously done during assembly. And once, oh, yeah. it, once it heated up, it revealed the scratches so the product worked fine but it worked great actually but that's not acceptable for such an expensive item spent over 550 dollars for that thing and it should have come in good condition instead of all damaged from the factory it wasn't damaged in transport it was damaged when it was assembled wherever that was and maybe it was returned once already and they're trying to push it off onto someone else it won't be us. You can push it off on you. Push it down the line. <laughs> yeah. We were okay with those couple of little scratches. We were like, okay, kind of hesitant. But then we saw the rest. And heck no. Yeah. So we found a brand uh, from our local Walmart, actually. Uh, it's not in stock. We have to order it, and they'll send it to us. Uh, instead of a Farberware, I called it a Faberware yesterday, I think. It's so a Farberware brand. It's uh, The new brand is uh, Airsman. 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 Yeah. And it was a uh, hundred and ten bucks cheaper. Yeah. But the same thing. Same exact thing has the baby setting and everything on it. So we ordered one of those. So one of those is on the way, and we're gonna send this one back for a refund. Because when you spend that kind of money, you should be getting quality product and not damaged product. And yeah. you can't blame the truckers on this one. We can this was done at the way. assembly line wherever it was put together. Yeah, we can damage it on our own, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So I've got to bring this dishwasher back to the UPS store. Apparently when we get there, they print off all the labels and everything. So this return is a little different than the GoPro return. It's confusing. 
I hope we don't get any issues over it. I mean, when we pay that much for that appliance, I really do kind of expect it to show up in good condition. Like the front of it was, like it had those little bit of scratches on the outside yet, but then we noticed there was a whole ton of these scratches in between the window panes, like between panes. So we couldn't even get to it. So it was clearly damaged during the assembly because it's all sealed in now, right? There's two window panes, one on the outside, one on the inside. The damage was between the two. Strange, strange. And they just sent it out like that. I bet you someone else has bought it and returned it already. And now they tried to resell it again to us and we're gonna return it. I bet you anything they're gonna turn around and try to resell it again to someone else. So be careful when you get these appliances in the mail. They might try to blame it on the transport company. You can't do that because it's packaged perfect. There's, you could drop it off the side of a truck. It's not going to damage it. Maybe the shock of falling might damage it, but it's not going to scratch it. It's like six inches of uh, styrofoam all around it. Back up towards the door. Hopefully this is just quick and painless. And we have to wait uh, 30 days plus seven. So up to 37 days for our return. 30 days for them to receive it and process it. Another seven for our bank to credit our cards back. So this is the thing about buying online. It's very convenient to have this stuff delivered straight to you. But if you need to return anything, it's over a month to get your refund back, which I guess is all right because we went and ordered a new dishwasher off a different site. We ordered it straight from the Walmart site this time, so it's gonna come right to our door. So we tried it again, but through a different company. We'll see what happens on this one. It's a different brand too. Pretty much the same thing, but uh, it's a different brand. We, we said it before, right? Airsman or something? Airsman. We'll show you it when it comes in. When I get back from this next trip, I'll give you the detailed run through of our new countertop dishwasher for the baby stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Terrific, it's gonna be amazing. It's probably made in China, but that's okay, as long as it washes our dishes. And now we're heading to the truck. Got all my stuff with me here. Load up the truck. Most of it's loaded up already. Just throw the rest of everything in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna go pick up our trailer. I'm not sure if my load is tied down or not. It's gonna be in a roll tight trailer. Sometimes those loads are tied down for us. Other times they're not. It's okay if it's not. I'm getting there with enough time to tie it down yet today. But it wouldn't be a nice little treat if it was, right? We'll find out when we get there. Trailer 602, roll tight. I think it's gonna be this one right here. There it is, yep. There's our trailer. Nice. Tri-axle, roll tight. Looks like it's one of the better ones. And we have a trailer right there walking us in. Who dropped that trailer there? I might be able to get out still. You know what? I, I'll be able to get out. I'll be able to get out. Watch me. Tell me I can't. Tell it. Say it. Tell me. Tell me I can't. I'll show you I can. Oh, it's too bright. You can't really see it. There's a trailer parked right there. I'll have just enough space. I can see it from here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get hooked on here. Let's open her up, make sure everything's tied down. If it's not, let's tie it down. And uh, let's get out there. I'm leaving a little later than I wanted to, but I planned for that in advance because I knew I would be. So there's my trailer. With the lift axle in the back. Now I just have to tie down everything in here. So I've got to open this up. Tie it all down, and then we can go. All right, we got my paperwork, we got my trailer, I tied it all down. We're still on schedule, leaving later than I wanted to, but it's okay, I scheduled for that. So off we go. Oh, I gotta set up my GPS yet. Oh, shoot, shoot, better do that. Wow, the Flying J is empty today. Nobody here. Oh, it's a long weekend, that's why. 
It's Labor Day weekend. Yeah, we celebrate, or celebrate, we, uh, Labor Day is a thing in Canada too. Same thing as in the US. Exact same thing, the same day. Canada and the US are twins attached at the hip, pretty much. Next uh, is Thanksgiving. We just do our Thanksgiving in October because uh, our fall season is a little sooner than yours. October is Thanksgiving for us. November is Thanksgiving for the US. But other than that, we're pretty much exactly the same. So this is St. Agath Flying J. I'm just stopping here for a coffee. We got a long way to go tonight yet. We're gonna be driving into the night. Into the night, we will be driving. all the drop trailers man I noticed that at a lot of Canadian truck stops a lot more than in the US could just be uh, I don't know just me but we made it to st. cloud Minnesota We're starting our day now so we'll wrap up this vlog and we'll meet you all back here in tomorrow's video. How's that sound? Whew. Tomorrow's video is gonna be a little bit more relaxed. This was a little bit go, go, go. I got here, I was so tired. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. You stay safe, you be safe, and you drive safe. Take care.